If you use Google Maps regularly, you've probably found that there are certain businesses that get this thing called a place label. It is basically a, a note on the map that shows the name of the business along with a little pin. Now, not every single business gets one of these. So we often get the question of why? Well, the reasoning makes sense. There simply isn't room for them all. Picture a skyscraper that has 100 businesses in it and try to plot all that out on the map and put a label on each one. It would look really ugly and messy. So we often wondered, what is it that Google picks when coming up with the criteria for these? We did a study that looked at just under 400 businesses in a, three different market areas to try and figure out if we could notice any patterns. There was a few different things that we found. First, we found that the businesses that had place labels were correlated strongly with businesses that had a lot of reviews. So for example, in Toronto, the businesses that had the most place labels had an average of 6,455 reviews compared to only 21 reviews for businesses that did not have a place label. Second, we found that how old the listing is, is a factor as well. So in Toronto, when we were looking at that market, we found that the listings on average that had a place label had been around for about seven years, whereas the businesses that didn't have one had only been around for about three. It was really interesting also to find out that while we were doing this study over the course of a year, a business that was new at the time ended up getting a place label a year later when they didn't originally have one. Third, we found that listings that get a lot of store visits are ones that are more likely to have a place label. And this makes sense. Google needs to kind of show the businesses that are popular that people constantly go to on the map. Fourth, we found that if you are in a certain business category, you are a lot more likely to get a place label than others. So for example, if you are a dentist and a lawyer because you offer services, you are least likely to get one. Whereas if you were a hotel or someone in the entertainment space, you are a lot more likely to have one. There were a lot more takeaways from our study, so feel free to check out the entire thing here. And of course, if you have questions, leave them in the comments and feel free to like and subscribe to our channel for more of our videos.